Ready. Play. Oh, and it's finished with a forehand winner from Zheng. She drops to the ground. <laughs> she is the Olympic champion. Very, very well played. The World Tournament today. Yeah. Also, I mean, of course, some mistakes are okay with all that, you know, all the pressure that this moment feels. It's been an unbelievable tournament. Some She was one point away from getting eliminated in the third round the round of 16 yeah. by by emma navarro that fantastic match against kerber where she's been really pushed and then beating Iga at the french open uh wow <laughs> very very well well played tournament a uh, fantastic achievement so yeah yeah she uh went playing for china uh, she's unbelievable. First, the, the Asian games were the general try, <laughs> and now she's she's come here, get, got the, the gold medal at the Olympics. Of course, also for for Donna Vekic, despite the disappointment of today, she's got a silver medal, and now they're giving her the flag. Big moment for for China. Big moment for for Asian tennis in general. So. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think you should be pretty happy about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. I mean, an Asian winner, uh, the first among men or women uh, from Asia to win an Olympic gold medal in singles. And yeah, yeah I mean, this is just so, so much history. I think, I mean, I think in the previous to this, I mean, who have we had? We've had uh, Kenya Shikori won the, the bronze medal. Uh, Leander Piers yeah. won the bronze medal back in 96. Um, and I think when I looked through it, th there was a silver medalist in 1920 from, from Japan. <laughs> so, it, you know, not been too many there, but obviously Zhang is the winner here and she is probably going to be around at the top for a while. I mean, she's only 21, so... Yeah, it, it feels like that. I mean, even if she's still not the most consistent player, uh, she's got her result. Uh, this year, she's had two, two good runs to the, uh, the Australian Open final, to the gold medal in singles. So you, you can definitely feel that she can play very well. And especially on this kind of course where she has uh, her time to hit freely, and to mix her things pretty well and also to defend in a good way. Um, yeah. She can do very well. For example, on grass, we we know that um, she doesn't move really well. She has some troubles with the forehand side, but she has time yeah. also to improve and she, in, you know, to try to become as much as possible an all-round player. But yeah, I mean, she's still done pretty well for being a 21-year-old. And I'm pretty sure she's already a star in China, but I'm pretty sure after getting the Olympic medal in singles in tennis, uh, this will really make her, you know, her name mm -hmm. not possible to delete from Chinese sport history. Yeah. And of course, she's also beaten the world number one, Iga Shiontek, on the way. So this is a really Absolutely. special title. And, and doing it at, at Roland Garros, where shiantek has been, you know, pretty much invincible. So, um, and for Vekic, it's sad for her, but I mean, she's done so well just to get to the final. She does get a medal as well. She gets a silver medal, and yeah. that is something she'll she'll probably keep and probably treasure. Um, I say this was the first actual tour uh, final on you know on a clay court. I think for for Vekic, so. Yeah, I mean, it would have been quite an upset if probably if she, she did actually uh, win the title. And, and probably, yeah, what a very unexpected, uh, yeah. considering the, the expectation before the tournament. But. The, the the biggest thing I I take with me is that I I didn't think she could have been such an, also an emotional person, you know? she she At times she, she seems like... Mm, 
you know, always very um, well poised on the court. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Also, all this celebration. She said she's she's fallen on the ground in her previous three matches, and also you know her tears. I've seen here. I don't know. I I've also watched a different side of of Kim Wen that so far. Um, I haven't actually. I have to admit, I didn't know that well. So okay. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course. Also, um, you know, for for us in Europe, also, I don't know how you know she approached also the the Asian games because here, you know, it doesn't really feel as a very very big thing, you know. Um, no. So. Yeah. The Asian Games, um, yeah, but I think it's it's big there. But obviously, she was quite a big favorite to to go on and, yeah. and win that, and 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 given the competition there, and that was actually how she got into the Olympics. She qualified by by winning yeah. that. Of course, she would have made it in with her ranking anyway. But you know, I mean, that probably gives her some sort of feeling taste of what it's like to win for a country and. I mean, coming through as well, coming two long matches before that semi-final against Iga, um, at over three hours, coming back from a set down, and she had to come through some tough moments. And I think that's what's been so good about this tournament is that she's just handled that well. She hasn't always just been going for it, you know, the balls and, and making the errors. She has been... Yeah. playing pretty well uh, and and knowing when to go big and when not to um when to hold back and that's you know it seems like she seems like a pretty i mean how old is she now i don't know how old is she now i forgot her age um how old? But, you know 21, she's, 21. Yeah. she's born in 2002 but pretty late in the year yeah right okay so she's 21 and yeah so she's still Still young, she seems to be maturing and developing still. So it really does bode well. I mean, maybe she can go on to the, you know, the hard court swing in America with a little bit of new confidence and perhaps like a little bit of um, less pressure. She's got this big title. Uh, see if she can, let's see if she can bring that forward into the, you know, US Open maybe. So... Yeah, let's say that we we have talked about how big of an opportunity was for Iga Zviontek to play the Olympics on clay. But I actually feel like she also used an opportunity, Kim Wen Zhang, because you know she played on a court that she really likes. She's done pretty well on clay throughout her career, mm -hmm. and on hard courts, you know. Um, maybe also the um, I don't know. Also at the start line, the, um, there are more players who can be yeah. you know big favorites. So I feel like also for her was kind of a big chance to to dream big. And yeah, she's been she's been unbelievable. Of course, she didn't have Iga's pressure of being the very big favorite of the wall event. So mm -hmm. this for sure, you know, it's different. But yeah, I still think that right now I will probably put her on clay uh, if I want to see her play at the best level she can bring. I feel like this is her favorite surface right now, the one where her tennis works works better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, of course, she came into this tournament having won a tournament. Um yeah, the ATP, uh, sorry, ATP WTA uh, yeah, 250 Palermo. tournament. So, yeah, Palermo, yeah, she she came in and won that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, I mean, that worked out well for her. I mean, uh, I don't think Ega, Ega didn't play a tournament coming into this, did she? So, on the clay, I mean. So, I mean, maybe there's something to be said for, for doing that as well. It's, she's She's carried that on into here. And yeah, I mean, no doubt that the best results in her career have been on the clay. Um, yeah, Vekic, I don't know. I, I feel like, of course, you know, right now she's disappointed. But, you know, fortunately, you know, the Olympic final still, when you lose it, still 
gives you something better than the plate that the runner up usually gets yeah in in a tournament you know you still get the your silver medal and yeah. maybe when you you are home and you watch that silver medal you 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 know you are proud of yourself yeah i mean I, i'm sure it it does feel good maybe afterwards but at the moment when you just lose a match even sure. though you've got the silver medal i'm sure it doesn't feel too great i mean i yeah it was earlier in the in the doubles uh, it was Rajiv uh, Ram, he looked very disappointed, um, which is understandable. I mean, whereas like if you win the gold medal match, you come into oh we won the gold medal. Uh, sorry, the not the gold medal, the bronze medal match. If you yeah. if we won the bronze medal, yeah, that's and... right. In these kind of sports, for sure, it's different rather than I don't know swimming when you just swim, go out on on the water and say okay, I won the silver. Come on, uh, yeah, right, it's... right, right, right. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> in the asian games actually the, for the bronze they just actually give the two bronzes so the, it's just the the two semi-final losers they just get a bronze medal yeah so but um i don't know i kind of like the playoff for the bronze i guess i mean we've had some good ones over the years and i'm just looking at Zheng. she was signing loads of balls taking photos but she's walking off court now and i guess we'll have to watch through we want to see the the presentation i guess they're going to have that now are they yeah so we'll see uh zhang we'll see vekic and we'll see iga Svantec again she won the iga bronze Svantec, medal right yeah she <laughs> won the bronze uh earlier yeah. uh yeah, pretty yeah. straightforward for her yeah as kind of expected the first cup of two three games were still a little bit shaky then she just you know won Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it was a 11 out of the final 12 games of the match and went away with a bronze medal, which is still something that 61 players don't get. So I feel like it's, I know, it's it, it's still kind of a disappointment for her, probably considering where uh, the Olympics have been played. But yeah, in the end, if you look things with perspective, you still go home with something in, you know, in your hands, around your mm -hmm. neck as a bronze medal. And it yeah. is as like it is, you know. Uh, she, she, fortunately, tennis, you know, the, winning the Olympics is huge. It's a fantastic thing. But fortunately, in tennis, you have plenty of, you know, different moments when you can redeem yourself. Oh, my dog. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't realized it. Ozan's asking if I'm going for Musetti or, or was he Aliasim? <laughs> my dog is a Zang super fan. <laughs> Probably I have to ask him. <laughs> no, he's not named Lorenzo. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I, I, I... Musetti or was Aliasim? I mean, I think it would be nice for either of them if they won. I mean, I'm not particularly... For sure leaning either way uh, it, i don't know you phoenix know, won a medal <laughs> probably so maybe for this reason this is true i know it's different but not that much probably uh, i don't know i perhaps expect musetti to win though just based yeah on... i feel like he's a slight favorite uh in yeah. this matchup on play in these conditions and also given how well he is playing for yeah. you know, yesterday he hasn't been a good performance actually, but overall, looking at the big picture, he's been playing very well. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think like he enters the match as the slight favorite, but yeah. still we have to to see who. Um, I don't know. Felix also is probably in a better psychological condition because I don't know. Musetti comes straightforward from the disappointment mm, Oje could reset a little bit yesterday with the mixed doubles um bronze medal match that he won after he lost his semi-finals in single i don't know i mean it's a bit difficult to call as a match because i feel like the bronze medal match is always played under weighed circumstances for tennis players it's weighed for mm. them to be back on the court the day after they have lost yeah uh but yeah still i i think that i can say musaki probably is light favorite i mean it depends on the circumstances of the player i'd imagine for both felix and uh yeah 
Lorenzo Bassetti, it's still kind of cool for them to be able to have this chance to oh, win yeah, for a, sure. a bronze medal. Now, going back to, say, Tokyo, it was uh, it was Djokovic was, was against uh, Pablo Carreño Busta for the bronze. Yeah, and it was a I'm not, I, I know that, of course, Djokovic probably wanted to win. He was going for it, but he'd already won a bronze medal. And, you know, of course, he was Absolutely. really wanted the gold. And there was also difficult circumstances with the weather. I feel like Novak, as I said, also before. Oh, it's hot and humid, it. yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's true. And and it was... Um, Novak's kind of struggled a bit, uh, notably when in those uh, hot, humid conditions in, in the past. And, I mean, that's normal. It's kind of crazy heat. Uh, but, um, yeah, and for, but for, for Pablo... Karenio Busta, that was one of the finest moments of his career because you know, he got to beat Djokovic and win that bronze medal and he talked about Absolutely. that. I mean, so, it was a weird tournament for him because he beat both the world number one and two and only got a bronze. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, it was a big, big, a big moment for him. Uh, so, way bigger than what would have been for, for Djokovic, of course. And here yeah. we are. They are showing me now on the stream Djokovic after his morning practice, probably, because I don't think he's... Yeah, he practiced this morning with, with Felix. And yeah, so. I mean, well, I'm just seeing the Chinese fans in the stands dancing. There's music playing and they're, I guess, waiting for the, the ceremony, but it's it's not... It's not on yet. I don't know when it's going to happen, but they say soon. But yeah, I don't know if we. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it's... we're gonna we're gonna watch that. For me, it's okay. I don't know if our producer is fine with that. <laughs> and <laughs> um, but yeah, for me, we can we can also watch it or not. I mean, it's. Uh... It's always a big moment, you know. I, I repeat, I really like the the, the Olympic medal moment. Yeah, uh, it's it's always nice to see these players, you know, also uh, emotional. You know, I'm. It also depends on how you've grown up. Um, for example, you know, Iga has said in an, in an interview that um, she she has grown up in. Uh, in an environment with her dad always telling her that the Olympics is the best sporting event and winning an Olympic medal is something, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of players winning a medal, the pride, you can really watch it, you know, all, all the smiles they have. Is You can get a gold medal or a... I'd probably go with with the gold medal probably i can you know struggle if you tell me the masters 1000 in rome at home in italy probably it would be also another very special you know thing but yeah probably i would go with the gold medal <laughs> is the oh. first Asian born player to win a gold medal <laughs> in i mean in his history I guess what they're saying is like they're not including like Asian by sort of ethnic background, I guess. But I mean, yeah, in terms of, I'm pretty sure when I look through it, that it's the first person representing an Asian nation to actually win a gold medal in a single. So as far as I could see, because I looked through all the. Sorry, <laughs> the uh, I, I'm losing a little bit the, the, the plot here. Who are they talking about? Huh? Uh, no, you talked about Ajenborn. Yeah, because it was on the screen there. They were, it said, yeah, 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 um, I've read it. She's the first Asian-born player ah, okay, to, okay, okay. to win an Olympic gold medal in the singles. Yeah. But I, I'm not sure why Yeah, Asian-born, why they had to emphasize. I think it's the first one. But like maybe they're saying like there's like some other Asian connection that has won it. But I'm not. I didn't see that when I looked through, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's a huge achievement for for Zhang. 
Yeah, it's taking a bit too long, actually. <laughs> the the men's yeah. double has been way quicker. Yeah, than starting the ceremony because I was watching it. The the bronze final, mm -hmm. the bronze medal mm -hmm. match. Maybe they're trying to find Ego. Ego, you go, Steve. <laughs> you know what I'm choosing. <laughs> um, you can win a gold medal and an M1000 in Rome, or do you play three sets? <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> with a topless Tommy Paul, okay. Uh, oh, victory ceremony. We are here. We are. I mean, he's already in Toronto. I, I honestly think most players would choose a, a gold uh, Iga, medal. Iga has withdrawn from from Toronto. Right. And she said yesterday in the press conference that she's going to stay here for some days to to keep living the Olympic experience. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it's actually an easy pick, I have to be honest. Because also for what I've seen, you know, I know that, I don't know, when you win a gold medal, an Olympic gold, for me, it's always huge, depending on regardless of the sport you are playing or um, I think things it's start, always a very I'm very huge on. thing I'll have to nip out for quickly sorry so the medalists are entering right now Yeah, Carlos withdrew from Montreal. It's not the only one. Okay, here we are. Iga Sviontek is the first one, of course, given that she won the bronze. Then there is Kim Wen Zhang, having won the gold. She's in the middle. And Donna Vekic. All three have kind of similar colors, actually, because of the three countries that they represent. Poland, China, and Croatia. All three are kind of smiling. Vekic a little bit less, but still she's she's kind of kind of smiling too. So a good thing because yeah, as I said, all of them, regardless of you know the analysis that we may do, all of them should first of all be proud of having. Uh, got away of this tournament with a medal around their necks so and there's Iga yeah she's getting her bronze medal and yeah she's smiley happy finally yeah, she's finally she looks like she is actually genuinely happy and enjoying that so that's nice to see yeah also also have you know good for her that she's had a day also between her bronze medal match and this moment Mm -hmm. to, to really reset everything but yeah staying on the podium it's always great as i said regardless of the analysis and later we will do all of this right now it's a moment of pride and vekish too she's able to cr crack a smile and yeah so maybe now yeah she can feel how it's kind of special yeah it's a, it's a special it, moment and it, it gets you know it gets added to the you know the tally on for your country on on the table right so that's like yeah <laughs> we'll see uh, we'll see for if um i'll get it once or twice once for sure uh twice it will depend on the next match <laughs> So happy to see Vekic smiling on the podium. Now, of course, the big moment because we are crowning officially Olympic champion. And there she is, gold medalist. Zheng Kinwen of China. What a good moment. I would love to be there. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, it would be, yeah, it'd be really cool. It, and it's interesting as well because, hey, there she's getting a big cheers. 
<laughs> is it, and obviously, this is being played at Roland Garros, which is, and then there she bites the gold medal. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I I always feel like the, the the Olympic tournament, of course, is always very good to win a medal and everything. When it's played on a Grand Slam venue, it's even better. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't know because yeah, it's better, like, but it. it it feels different though from from just a Roland Garros tournament. You know, the, the vibe is is different. Oh, yeah, for sure, different, sure. different, different fans and who are not necessarily always going to go to tennis events. So, yeah. Okay, now we have the Chinese anthem and and hi, Miles. We have Miles, but yeah, I feel like Miles. we are close to. To the end, singing along. She's singing. Good job. She knows all the all the words. <laughs> if I would. Any watch. thoughts on Vekic? Uh, I mean, she played. She played a very good tournament. That's for sure. Uh, there are some things on her game, and also, in my opinion, on her fitness level that probably are not at the best possible level but yeah uh, we have to uh, i checked the stats you were mentioning about her not having played um ever in a, a tour level final on clay actually not even a semi-final so yeah um, wow. you know it's still um considering the surface actually you know sh she did a great job in any case because yeah she never it's reached a final in a big tournament before. Yeah, it's but actually it's, amazing. Yeah, especially on clay. I mean, the final, could have she played better? Yes, definitely. Oh, they all look mm. kind of happy. But yeah, in the um, end, I feel like the, um, mm. the disappointment shouldn't be too much right now. And she's in a good moment of her career after all the struggles she felt earlier. This, this year, she's you know right now semi-final at Wimbledon a bron um a silver medal here so great also good to see the the players smiling at each other mm -hmm. and I don't know if you agree with me on on Vakic yeah I mean you have to say she's had I mean she hasn't won the titles but she had a very good few months hasn't she so Hopefully she be able to, if she'll be able to carry that on, maybe she can get some some titles going forward. Um, Miles was asking whether there's whether there's a cold handshake at the end, but uh, it it was. I've it was seen that it bit. was quite cold, but not cold like you know. I don't think it was a polemic handshake. He just no. was like Vekic who wasn't there for a hug. But now yeah. they are smiling at each other. I've seen they have congratulated each other. They've taken a selfie, all the three together. Yeah. Obviously, Obviously just by someone very else. disappointed. She was disappointed in the moment, Vekic. But I think it was just, um, yeah, it just wasn't the warmest handshake, but it wasn't. No, no, but was... it wasn't with, with some anything polemic you know just yeah, yeah. I, I, not staying yeah. there too much and saying stuff with with air at the net which also is not probably the best i mean but then they come out here again on the podium they congratulated all each other so i feel like we mm -hmm. can <laughs> for once no drama here <laughs> we've, yeah. we've had plenty of drama <laughs> moments of dramatic yeah. moments especially on the women's side this this year even yesterday semi-final even it wasn't Djokovic against Musetti the drama but both were very nervous and I mean understandably so so we also have to understand yeah these these players these athletes players have a bit of emotions it doesn't they're not robots right they have to uh, um so yeah things. um this is it I guess I don't know yeah, if this you is it anything else to to add we just yeah go really just a i mean clearly the, the i mean she deserved to win the tournament didn't she i think Zhang yeah. was clearly the, the best player yeah. she come through those tough matches and then to, to yeah especially in the final matches mm, yeah, you know bigger. i felt like against navarro she has been able to win even in in 
Bad Day of hers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Right. But yeah, then against Kerber was I felt it was a very high quality match actually. Yeah. Mm, that was, that was and nice she was watch. playing the best tennis in in years actually uh, <laughs> the world tournament very good to see and then yeah these final two matches she's been superior for a different reason I know that Iga hit a lot of unforced and, mm, yeah. and she played bad and everything but King Wan played better in the semis in the final so yeah, yeah. she deserved I agree with you absolutely and yeah, just a just a great, great week for her. And now it's going to be interesting to see, yeah, just how she does in the rest of the year. Obviously, it would be nice for her, um, not only because it's US Open, but I mean, going forward, uh, we've also got the the Asian tournaments. There's going to be a lot of tournaments in China. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe she can she can do well there. Finishing the year well, we'll, we'll probably take a little bit of pressure off. Um, yeah, uh, maybe and... I don't know. Get her best ranking right now. She's twenty one. Her best mm -hmm. ranking is nineteen. If the Olympic were still given points, she would have had her best ranking for sure. She would have gained four or five positions probably. But yeah, I mean, it's not like that since a long time. Actually, it's twelve years that the Olympics don't give points. But yeah, she still has the chance. Because I don't feel like she has that much to um, to to defend right now. Um, oh so. yeah, you you told me Vekic, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, but um, you were talking about Kim Wen. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, I mean, for all of them, basically, it's yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Of course, for Kim Wen, also I playing in China, she will be uh, received as a. You know, yeah. of course, the, the big star, the big star. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, she'll have that. Yeah, and, and it'd be perhaps she can. I mean, the next stage for her is she she want to go in and and obviously this is a great uh, title, but she want to win these big tournaments. I mean, you're talking the you know the the one thousand tournaments, oh. and and obviously yeah. that's the next stage for her. Maybe she can do that, and then she can finish the the year well, and it takes a bit of pressure off going into the Australian Open because she's got those final points to, to back up so yeah um it's going to be interesting yeah, yeah. so um, yeah i can thank you it's always great to have you here for the commentaries i really enjoyed it we've witnessed yeah. some good piece of history and mm -hmm. it's always really nice to to do it here so also thanks to all uh, the people who've been here listening commenting hopefully all of them have already subscribed as you see we want to reach 10 10 000, and so we need your help to do it <laughs> and so it would be very nice if you can help us if you have liked and yeah, yeah thank thank you again eddie Yep. Thanks a lot, Mario. Thanks everyone for watching, listening. Yeah, it's been a good one. Yeah. See you. See you soon on the stream. Uh, yep, bye bye. All right. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.